representing the Progressive Canadian Party. I'll have to use the first one minute of uh, my three minutes to make a friendly nag. Uh, up until an hour ago, I, was, I had other plans for this hour because nobody had told me there is such a thing here. And only two days ago when things came out in the newspaper, yesterday I received an email saying, we didn't know you were nominated. I guess anybody in my community, unless they are, they are they were in coma or some accident or something, they already knew that, they had everybody has been putting up with my picture the last four weeks in the newspaper and everything. Anyways, back to myself, uh, I, met uh, leaders of Progressive Canadian Party uh, just recently and I found that we have certain things in common. I found them fed up with, uh, uh, with certain policies of uh, conservatives, especially putting the interests of, of Canada second to those of our brothers across the border and ignoring, uh, ignoring immigrants. These are the things that I found that they, are, they didn't like with conservatives and I also found them fed up with the, uh, just giving empty promises, which uh, liberals are normally famous for. So I found several things in common, and I thought I accepted to go and represent them. Still, I feel myself kind of independent, because for so many details, when I talk to them, they refer me to people. They say, hey, if you are in that writing, if you know what people are talking about, and their concerns, go and consult with them. You are not there to represent just a few people, you are there to represent thousands of people. And we have several other things that during the, uh, this one, two hours I'm going to share with you how I found them kind of close to my mentality and uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Now to Mr. Jake Carnes of the Conservative Party. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first off, my uh, my apologies for being a, a couple minutes late uh, to this event. Um, we had uh, a bit of confusion. There's been uh, the party has double booked me and a couple of uh, other things uh, this afternoon. So um, I said uh, I had already committed to this event and I want to appear and I want to make sure that uh, we have a chance to discuss the issues and you have a chance to ask me. Uh, the questions that uh, you need to need to ask, um, but uh, I may, uh, well, I will have to leave a, a little bit early um, this afternoon. So if you have questions for the Conservative Party, I hope that um, you know you, you will uh, you will be able to uh, to get them in as soon as we're, we're done this little introductions. Uh, and uh, the introduction for me is that I have been involved in uh, in politics for about a dozen years now, um, ever since uh, an incident um, in Scarborough where I grew up um, with a tragic death of a, a friend of mine who um, was uh, viciously murdered at the Kennedy subway station platform in a case of mistaken identity. The you know, murderer thought he was going after somebody else and my friend was, uh, was lost and when that uh, when that murderer received less than four years uh, of uh, prison time, it shocked me so greatly that I uh, was adamant that I would not give up um, until our justice system was corrected. And we've done uh, a lot of good things in the last couple of years, um, making sure that uh, people pay the penalty when, uh, when a crime is committed. We've also done some good things on preventing crime, um, introducing programs like a, a children's athletics credit, uh, up to $400 a year, keeps kids involved in uh, other activities, more positive activities, um, and social activities that will hopefully keep them out of trouble, and it has worked. We have a, a crime rate that per capita is at the lowest point in 25 years. Um, but. Uh, there is no doubt that crime will still be committed. It will always be uh, an issue, and uh, it's something that I feel strongly about that we need to, to go further, and, uh, and when these people commit these atrocities, that they are punished appropriately. So, conservatives have a plan for that, and uh, I look forward to 
talking through uh, a few more issues. My time is coming up, but uh, I definitely will discuss as many uh, immigration-related issues and community-related issues as we possibly can this afternoon. So thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much. Ms. Finley, the floor is yours. Thank you and salam. Um, first of all, congratulations to the Iranian Canadian Congress. I know that this has been a force in the community for some time, but officially became an organization just in the spring. And so congratulations on that. And thank you very much for putting this on. Um, as my friend Susan said, it is you who have made the sacrifice to be here this afternoon. And we all thank you very much for being engaged in this very important process. Um, a little bit of my background, uh, my academic background is international relations. I then became a lawyer, um, very involved in international law, international business law, then became a business person and an entrepreneur over the, over the 20 years of, of uh, the last two decades. I'm also extremely proud of the fact that I am a mother and can, can sit here before you and tell the tale of having lived through teenagehood three times over and lived to tell the tale. My children are all in their 20s and I'm very, very proud of them. Um, in my role as the Member of Parliament for Willowdale, um, first was extremely pleased to have been elected and I know thanks to many of you in this room, in fact elected as the Member of Parliament for Willowdale in the spring. And since then, it has been extremely busy. I was fortunate and, and honored to have been asked to be associate finance for the Liberal, uh, associate finance critic for the Liberal Party. And in that capacity, have sat on the House of Com Commons Finance Committee. I've also sat on the House of Commons Committee on uh, Transportation, Infrastructure, and Communities. And those of you know, in the by-election, there were two significant issues that we discussed then, and one of them was infrastructure primarily related to public transit, and I was very pleased to be so involved in that committee. But the other aspect is immigration, and I am very pleased, since having become the Member of Parliament, the, not, the amount of work that we do in our constituency office that relates to immigration, and I don't need to tell many of you in this room where much of that work comes from. And I'm very pleased to have been involved enough in the development of the Liberal Party platform to create a number of very significant initiatives. And we have, in fact, uh, a, a pamphlet out that has been uh, written in Farsi as well that describes, in particular, the immigration proposals. And I do hope that we'll have some questions to talk about them further. But in an effort to deal with, as we know, much of the, the backlog that's occurred with the Iranian community, real challenges with the visitor's visa, in particular thrilled about the proposal of a five-year renewable multiple entry visitor's visa. It makes a huge amount of sense. But I'm also pleased that we've hired Lily Pourzan in our office, in our constituency office, because she is affording us a direct link to the Iranian community, which I hope we'll be able to do after Tuesday as well. So thank you very much, and I look forward to your questions. <laughs> 